Hello there. Today I'm experimenting with a new video format. I am masking my voice, in order to create a sense of mystery about my identity. I particularly like the ambiguity over whether or not I am human. Me? A computer? Never. Beep boop. It makes for quite a charming affectation, don't you think? Anyway, let's talk about this project. The new friction model in Alpha 3 leaves the roller coaster Tycoon 1 inspired 3 Monkeys coaster seriously lacking for intensity, and with this build, I intend to remedy that. The idea here is to do something conceptually similar to an RMC conversion on an old wooden roller coaster, though in steel, with less reuse of the existing support structure, but with layout alterations similar to an RMC conversion. I particularly aim to emulate the style of Twisted Colossus at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Alpha 3 lacks the ability to synchronize adjacent stations, but through the introduction of block breaks, it does provide a way to synchronize dueling lanes which are part of the same circuit. With some tweaking, it is possible to generalize this concept to three or more connected lanes. Here, I am combining the three separate tracks of the original rise into three lanes of one continuous circuit. As with Twisted Colossus, riders will queue once, then ride each of the lanes in immediate succession before exiting the ride. If all patrons intend to ride all three lanes, throughput under this system is the same as with three separate stations. In the case where there are two dueling lanes, the station lane should contain no block breaks, while the second lane should contain two block breaks. Each additional lane should contain a single block break. The block sections do not release simultaneously, however the order of releases and time delay between releases is constant. By offsetting the position of the block breaks between lanes, it is possible to achieve synchronization. An additional requirement is that the station lane must not be allowed to release before the trains and all other lanes have reached the block brakes. The station lane will not by itself hold until the other trains are in this position. This can be achieved by extending the length of the station lane track, or by enforcing a mandatory minimum waiting time before train release. Achieving perfect synchronization is difficult and requires many iterations of adjusting the offset between the block brake position in each lane.
I have opted to replace the two-part chain lift of the original layout with a single diagonal lift. This makes the rate at which the three trains climb the chain lift more predictable, which helps with designing dueling interaction between trains. By using a speed value of 4 meters per second for both the chain lift and drive tires, the trains can be made to move through this section at constant velocity, further easing synchronization design.
An additional flat section immediately before the drop allows the trains to become resynchronized for the first drop. To increase intensity, the first drop is taller and steeper than in the original layout. The original airtime hills are replaced by a zero-g roll, high five interaction and an RMC inspired overbanked crest. The turnaround following the first round of airtime hills is now replaced by two ML man turns and an overbanked curve. I aim to preserve a few remnants of the original track to make the history of the park part of its narrative. I am in the process of deciding exactly how much original track will be preserved. Yeah.
In the return section, airtime hills on the outer tracks are replaced by zero-g stalls. The middle track has been made tighter and lower for increased speed and a higher level of track interaction. The tunnel used by the red lane in the original layout is reused by the red lane, now the center lane, in the new layout. The tunnel used by the original yellow lane is preserved with this original track. That concludes construction for this episode. My sincere gratitude to everyone who is watching and to all of my subscribers. Let me know what you think of this time lapse format. The next episode will feature continued work on updating the track layout. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go build my own theme park with blackjack and hookers. In fact, forget the park. <laughs>